Last night when we were down here, there was an absolute battle raging between hardcore student protesters and the police who were holding this point. They've been holding it for two days. There have been very little progress. And by the look of these vehicles, look at them, the battle must have gone on for quite some time. And yet suddenly this morning, the fire has gone out of their fight. The police said, and they were holding this point here, they said to the protesters, if you want to go into the government complex, you want to go through here, OK, we'll no longer try to stop you. And so these burnt-out vehicles have suddenly become trophies for people to have their photos taken. And you have to ask, when you look at all of this, what was it all about? Well, what has been a very tense confrontation has suddenly turned into something a bit like a family picnic. All of these are the protesters who've been out pushing and pushing, sometimes fighting, to get in here. And we've arrived. This is Government House. It's the Prime Minister's office. It's the objective of those hardcore protesters who've been battling up against the barricades. And now they've been allowed in and they're having a, a huge celebration. I mean, look at the, the feelings on their faces. They think they've won. They feel they've reached their objective. But do remember, the Prime Minister's not there at the moment. She still insists she has no reason to resign. This is a good day for them, but it's really a symbolic victory. Whatever differences there are at the top, and they're very deep, will still have to be settled by some kind of high-level negotiations. And all of these people, when they've had their day, their sense of achievement, they'll eventually go home.